Hey everyone, so this is the this is the Princess Auto version power fist of the battery load tester. It works on 12 volt and 6 volt batteries. It's the same as the Schumacher version. In fact, I suspect this is actually made by Schumacher. It looks identical. Everything about it is identical. Um, I'll show you how to use it. It's very simple. Connect the positive to the positive, the negative to the negative. Push the load button for five to ten seconds and get a reading off here and what you, depending on what it reads, will tell you the condition of your battery. So we'll just swing around over here. We'll bring it over here. Put you there. Battery tester over here. I'll disconnect that. This is my positive, so we'll put, make sure we get a good connection on the positive there. And the negative over here. We'll put that on there. And I don't know if you can see that. It's reading between 12 and 14 volts, so that means the battery is good. It's charged. And then we'll just hit the, the button for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we'll go 8. And if you can see, I'll let go, it's in the green. As long as it's in the green, that's, that's good. Um, the yellow is weak, obviously, the red is bad. Over to this side, anything short of that is for 6 volt batteries. See if you can read that at all. Let's focus in there a bit. I'll do it again. I'll give it, hit it. And you can see it stays just in the green. This battery is a few years old, so it could probably be in better shape. But it's good enough, obviously. And it's that simple. There are tests you can do. I will show you over here. This does get warm right here, right that part. Because there is like, it's like a heating coil in there, that's what it uses to put a load on the battery. I mean, I've, I've seen digital meters and they're cool and everything, but they just, I don't know. I don't trust them. I'd rather go with a good old mechanical load tester and an analog gauge. There's, I mean, this thing will probably last forever, nothing will ever fail on it. Um, it does stink when you first use it. They, they tell you that in the instructions, and it does. Oh, yeah, we'll go like that. What the hell? And so, anyway, you can test the battery like I just did. You can test the alternator by having the vehicle running on a fast idle with the batteries connected up. And I will show you on here. Let's see if we see it. Over here, let me take my glove off. Over in this section where my thumb is, that's an okay between two reds and the green is okay. So that's good for your charging system. If it's above, it's above 13.5 volts, that means your battery is charging. So that good, and it tells you down there, charging system. And you can test the starter with it too by disconnecting a coil or something so your vehicle won't start and just cranking and checking the volts. If it drops below nine volts when cranking, or is it goes above or what? Hold on a second, let me check. A volting a voltage reading of nine volts or less indicates excessive current draw. Could be due to a poor connection, failing starter, or battery of insufficient size for the motor. So it will test the alternator, starter, and the battery. And this was $39 at Princess Auto. The Schumacher was $59. I looked on Amazon.ca and it was $59 for the Schumacher. Like I said, it's identical. There's, there's not a lot to these. Um, so it was actually cheaper for me to buy at Princess Auto. And they do go on sale at Princess Auto. I've seen them go on sale for $29.95. Um, one thing before you, like I said, it will smoke and it stinks a little bit like new electronics do sometimes. Um, but yeah, if you use it before you put it away, let it cool a little bit. It even says on it, caution, very hot surface. It's not very hot, but it's hot enough, so I'll let it cool for a while before I put it away in your toolbox, wherever you put it. Probably best to hang it from the wall, from a hook on the wall or something. But wherever you put it, let it cool before you put it up against anything combustible. And that's about it. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and take care.